What's up, everybody? So uh, it is Taco Tuesday, so to speak, because one, I'm fixing to eat some tacos, and two, it is actually Tuesday. So I'm not just stealing a phrase. I'm doing this shit for real. And uh, I have my millennials in the truck because we were doing something else, and they got the cameras and the batteries and the microphones and everything else. So we're going to pop into a place here, and we may end up doing this backwards because there's a there's a popular, popular place here in Dallas called uh, Fuel City, and it has a taco stand attached to it. And the number one fuel city is down in downtown Dallas. And I've been there a lot and uh, I, I like it. But when they start expanding, can they keep the um, food at the same quality as the one at the original? So we're going to find out today at fuel city number two. Uh, and it's just down the street from Gas Monkey, uh, not even a mile and a half. And I'm pretty stoked on it because if it's as good as the first one, then great. But if it's not, I'm going to be really disappointed because it's right in my backyard and what have you. So we are going to jump in there and get some uh, pollo at pastor and some uh, carne asada. And I'm going to work on my Spanish. I need to find uh, one of those Rosetta stones and carry it in my pocket. I heard that it helps you talk Spanish a lot better. So here we go. So we're about a mile and a half from uh, the old gas monkey. And there's a big old giant sign right there that says tacos with an exclamation point. And I like tacos. So we'll go in here, get something ordered, come back out. It's a nice day, sit on tailgate, and uh, rate these tacos from one to six gear. We got all kinds of goodies in there. This place is rad. So uh, this is something that I hadn't thought about until just now. See, I'm thinking if I take the... Uh, the millennials with me with their cameras then I can have a cold beer with my lunch see always thinking that's a B T I think so uh, today we got us a, a, a cold Modelo and uh, it's a big one and I got some uh, picadillo tacos I got some uh, El Pastor tacos and I got something else I'll try to remember it here in a minute. So remember kids, Richard doesn't drink and drive. Richard has a driver right there holding that camera. Don't be stupid. Well, that's good. And it's not right. But, we'll live. I got the Picadillo. I got some chips and salsa. Oh, they're all in here. So we got uh, some uh, barbacoa. Oh, that's good. Now, if you don't know what barbacoa is, it's basically like uh, roast with a little bit of spices. But I'm cheating the system already. So first of all, got to get my little picnic table set up up here. Looks like we got some uh, green sauce and some red sauce. Got some lime. Y'all digging this hat or what? Oh, Loving it. It's a killer hat. Big, yeah. It's gonna come in handy when it gets hot this summer. Definitely good Chips and salsa's good. Salsa's cold, that's always a big plus. Not a fan of like hot salsa, of like actually like I, temperature wise. I'm a hot sauce connoisseur. I, I love hot sauces, period. I prefer them cold, but uh, I'll eat them any way I can. I, I hope one day to put out some gas monkey salsa. That'd be cool, because I do make my own salsa at home. Maybe one day I'll show a little video. So the chips and salsa is good. Let's see if this one's going to be the hot. Red's always hot. It's hotter than the salsa for the chips, but it's not super hot. That's the one thing I've noticed about uh, a lot of uh, taco stands in this area. Their hot sauce doesn't get really, real super hot. It's hard to control this hat in the wind. I feel like I'm getting some downdraft. What up? Let's take a bet on how long somebody comes by here with a stupid fucking muffler. All right, so first we're gonna go with some uh, picadillo. Get a look at here. 
Got some potatoes and ground beef, two corn tortillas, and some uh, cilantro and onion. That's all you need. And I already sprayed a little lime on it. Very good. Didn't even take a second. Unbelievable. Moron. That's a damn good taco right there. It's got some kind of flavor in it I'm not picking up on. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit too much cumin and not enough uh, chili powder. different I guess this one is the uh, I don't see a pastor but that one's got a little bit more taste to it so thoughts so far the tortilla like what's that like like texture on it like how is it holding it it's a fucking together? quantitia they're supposed to fall apart that's why they give you two of them so this one I think they got my order a little wrong, but maybe not. Let's see if it tastes different because it, 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 it looks the same. It definitely tastes different, but I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like chicken. I think this is a... Uh, I really don't know what this is. I thought I ordered a... Uh, a chicken and a barbacoa and a pastor. Oh, that is correct. I'm gonna have to work up on my definitions. Somebody look that up. I think pastor is the pork. It is. Okay. Spicy pork. Spicy pork. So I screwed up. Thought I ordered chicken, but instead I ordered pastor. You know, I was thinking it was pollo. Um, It's good. But I guess barbacoa is supposed to be a little bit spicy. And this one's kind of medium. But like I said, around here in this part of Texas, I don't find too many um, taco joints that have like hot sauce. So for me with barbacoa, since it's like roast, you kind of have to live with uh, the fear. You know, learn to drive or eat with the fear like Ricky Bobby because sometimes they don't clean it as well as I want. It has big chunks of fat or a piece of bone. Really greasy. Eh, I don't have much to say about that one. The quality of the meat's good. Not a lot of fat in it. Right on. So we had a uh, pastor, picadillo, and barbacoa. I think it's good. The barbacoa was uh, pretty greasy. And then the uh, the picadilla was probably my favorite. And uh, it's uh, ground meat with uh, some potato, cilantro, and onions. Picadilla is probably my favorite because that's just ground meat with uh, potato, cilantro, and onion. Chips and sauce is good. Well, there you go. Little gas monkey picnic time. Tacos on the side of the road. All in all, killer meal. I'm sitting out on my tailgate having some tacos at Fuel City. I'm giving it a five, sipped it into six. I got a cold Modelo and I got this bitch at that. I'm pretty excited. So if you're liking what's going on, swipe up, swipe left, do whatever the millennials tell you to do. And if you got a place you want us to check out, uh, go ahead and uh, just comment below. Who knows, I might just show up because I'm always traveling. So doesn't matter where you live or where you're at. If it's got tacos and barbecue, I may be there. Ah, ha, 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 